Hi guys, Fox here. Today I'm gonna be upgrading my uh, prototype uh, flat coolant spray nozzle system into something more permanent. So here you can see my old prototype nozzle which I um, learned from. Uh, it was really quick and dirty design just to to see if the idea works. It kind of worked, but it was generating too much foam because of those printed mm -hmm. uh, imperfections. So when the printer prints, it puts the one layer after the other. And um, they are not always matching. And like I can like scrape it and you see, it's a uh, um, very kind of rough surface. That was causing uh, coolant to pick up air because of those steps. Um, the second thing, the stream was really broken up and I didn't like it and I thought I can do better than this, so I did. And here is my new um, flat cooling system um, of nozzles. And here I have um, nozzles every, every 15 degrees and every odd nozzle it's pointing just uh, below the collet and so that one and that one so every 30 degrees goes close to the collet and every uh, 30 degrees with the offset of 15 degrees I don't know if it makes sense uh, goes lower so it goes like this I believe let me get the drill and show you uh, so I got the drill and I'm gonna put it in uh, in the one nozzle and that nozzle it's the close one and it's pointing here and then the next nozzle it's pointing lower so I have a coverage uh, for the short bits and the long bits and then if I have any longer bits the water will go like this like it will meet here and all of the nozzles will cancel each other and meet in some point and then there will be like very uniform stream going down. Another reason for um, for a new one was to have um, the walls of the nozzles um, very smooth um, so the, the stream it's not as broken as from the printed one. Another thing uh, when you try to undo the, the collet and you use a wrench you can put it there and leave it and then you just use the other wrench on the bottom and you don't really need to hold that one because it's holding on this so I found it very very uh, handy so I'll show you how it works So, as you have seen, it works perfectly well. If you're wondering what's the flow, I'll show you. Okay, so this is a uh, 7 liter container. And uh, I want to show you how long it will take to fill it up. So. We're gonna count it, but let's see. Um, maybe I'm just gonna make the flow first. Okay. So seven liters in a couple of seconds. Uh, I didn't look at the timer but yeah that was pretty quick um, yeah so I think that's enough to blow the chips off Whoops. okay um, 
Yeah, and um, to do that ahead, uh, by the way, that's uh, this is made out of two pieces. So from this line down, it's a one piece, which I'll show you later on, and that's just the uh, the cover on the top. And I use some screws to just screw it together. Um, and there is no silicone or anything. Um, and uh, I use uh, I converted the machine to five axis machine, so X Y Z plus two manual axes. <laughs> um, I bolted part here, and you know I was able to rotate it. It's locked. Um, it was on the angle, so I, I was able to drill the holes on the, the angle I wanted. Uh, so a bit of uh, manual labor, but yep, it worked. And to don't bore you to death watching me milling uh, boring pockets and holes, um, I'm gonna skip to the part which is interesting, um, and the part is milling the nozzles on different angles. So that's a tricky part, and I thought it's worth showing. So here is my setup of two additional axes. I had to remove flat cooling um, because there was not enough clearance. And uh, I'm gonna be using that wheel every 30 degrees. It's me milling, and I'm gonna be reusing that path each time and it's going to be drilling in exactly the same spot. So, looks like this. Now, it was 180. So, 190, 200, 210. Okay, precisely. I'm going to lock it now. There's a locking screw at the bottom. And drilling more holes. Um, maybe a better view. If the scratch wouldn't be in a way, but you can see how close it gets to the screw. And that's the real time of cutting it. I had to extend the four millimeter end mill as far I could so it can reach and meal on the angle um, so there was lots of flex but it didn't affect the finish somehow that's how it looks from inside with all the holes milled in on the angles um, I liked it and um, that's the cover with the adapter for the hose and uh, yeah, I put it together with some screws, no silicone, anything, and it's not leaking. That's all for this video. I hope uh, it gives you some ideas for your own uh, flat cooling. Um, I tried to keep this video short, so not sure if it was a good thing if I explained enough about it. Anyway, what can I say? See you next time.